Okay guys, I've been needing to make this video for a while and I'll have more information on my website page which will be linked below with photos and stuff. Um, but I want to talk about planner sizes because a lot of people ask me questions about this on Instagram and I want to say I'm no expert but I have bought way too many planners in my life and I have a bunch to compare for you. So I'm going to start with ring planners and then I'll show you traveler's notebooks. They're slightly different. Um, so this is the smallest ring planner that um, I have. It's pocket rings. This is a Filofax Domino pocket rings and I use this every single day. Um, when my second son was born, it was how I tracked the, my kids naps and everything. Um, it was just really handy. Okay. Carry it around the house in my little diaper caddy and um, just write down when he ate and slept and stuff. So this was great if you need something really portable and you don't need, you just need pretty much your schedule and a few things. Um, however, as my kids got bigger, okay. I needed a little bit of a larger planner. So I went up to a six. Actually, I made a big jump, but I'm gonna go in order here. <laughs> So this is pocket rings compared to A6, so you can see A6 is quite a bit bigger. I love this size, it's personally my favorite. I've been in it for a whole year, um, and it's very portable. I can put it in a pouch and put it in my purse. The only thing about it is that not all shops carry stuff for this size because it's kind of an in-betweener, and you have to watch out because if you order stuff for this on Amazon or something like that, um, it's usually actually personal size and not a6 so look for things that say true a6 size that's this and personal is this and I'll show you how different they are so if you put personal inserts in this it would work but it would be awkward and you have a lot of space right here because this is wider so if you want something where you can order things quickly or buy things at Michael's where it's a little more convenient, I would go with personal because this, you can get personal size stuff anywhere. <laughs> it's just really easy to find. Um, A5 is pretty easy to find too, but I used personal for quite a while for that reason because I couldn't really afford to be ordering special stuff online all the time. So that's something to think about if you want to try A6. Just make sure you're ready to invest a little bit and then stick with it because once you get the dividers and all that um, it's much it's better just to stick with it just trust me on that one <laughs> but I love ASICs I've been um, getting rid of other planners not these yet but I'm working on it <laughs> um, because I love that one so much this one I think I'll always keep because it's just a classic um, I use it as a wallet sometimes this is a Kate Spade personal size planner, and this is a personal wide. This one's from Aura Estelle. So the difference between personal and personal wide is exactly like what it sounds like. It's just a little bit wider. Not that much either. It's just, let me show you like this. So here's personal and here's personal wide. You can just see it's just about that much, but they're the exact same height. The holes are in the same places. So if I really liked this from my personal planner and wanted to put it in here, I could, and it would still be okay. And a lot of personal planners, you can actually fit personal wide inserts, but you have to use top tabs. The tabs will stick out, but most of them I found are pretty wide. So like I said, personal is a great size if you want to order things that are more plentiful. Personal wide is another one of those specialty sizes, kind of like A6, where um, I don't see it as often. Still see it, but probably not as much as A6. I think it's even harder to find. <laughs> and then the biggest size that I have had in rings is A5. This is also really easy to find at craft stores. This planner with inserts and everything, dividers and everything was $10 at Hobby Lobby. And I think it's so cute. Um, I started off in A5 when I started doing decorative planning and I loved it. I haven't been in this size in quite a long time, but I recently got this from Cloth and Paper. It's a ringless A5 size and they give these A5 notebooks and their sub boxes, so I wanted a really cute binder for them where I could use them more. So this is 
That's what I'm doing with this. Of course, I'll make you make a video about that too. But here's the traveler's notebook. Well, more like a composition notebook with the rings. And now I'll show you some traveler's notebook sizes. So here's, this is the only B6 I have now. Um, I used to use B6 a lot. I have a lot of B6 stuff because I really, really like this size and it's the same as personal wide rings. So this is a hybrid planner so I can do rings and strings. So I'll show you what I mean. Or Estelle does these hybrids that are really cool. So see how that's the same size. So this is great. If you like personal wide rings and want to try a traveler's notebook, or vice versa, these are the, these are interchangeable. So you could probably still use a lot of your stuff. Um, I just really, really love this size. But I'm just not into traveler's notebooks at the moment. Um, compared to A5, someone asked me if B6 and A5 were the same, and they're not. B6 is much smaller than an A5 notebook. And then, the other ones I have, I have standard. This is a number six if you're looking at Foxy Fix. Um, A5 would be, this is a number five, this is number six. So standard's actually a little bigger than a B6. It's a little taller, but I don't think it's as wide. Yeah, it's not. Um, this one, I just, it was like $10 for everything, so I kind of couldn't resist it. And I set one up for my sister-in-law as a gift. This is another one, another size where you can buy things a little easier. Um, this is from Target. And then these are from Target also. They're made by May Designs and Blue Sky Planners, which are really great planners. I love theirs. So you can see that this is a pretty great size, not quite as wide as B6, but a little taller. And another thing that's confusing is when you bring in Hobonichis. <laughs> is that the same as standard? Could I put a Hobonichi like this, these little popular things? Can you put that into a standard notebook? No, it would be way too small um, to fit in there. So I wanted to make sure I showed that because I was confused about that. Wanted a cover for my Hobonichi, but they just seem so expensive. And I didn't, you know, obviously I've spent a lot on planners. I didn't want to overdo it. Um, but you have to get a Hobonichi sized cover. There might be other ones that would work, but I don't personally know about them. All I know is I have a standard and it's too big for that. I want to show you um, a pocket traveler's notebook versus a pocket rings. There is a slight difference and I'll have to look up the exact measurement so I can include that. But this is a pocket traveler's notebook. I used to use these as journals, um, and these are pocket rings, and they're just slightly, slightly different, like just enough to be where they're not interchangeable. <laughs> so pocket rings are quite a bit smaller, you can see there. So I wanted to show you that too, that sometimes it doesn't quite translate as good as the B6 and personal wide dots. Foxy Fix goes by numbers, so pocket in a Foxy Fix is a number two. Passport is slightly smaller. I don't have any in that size. And then they have micros, which I do have. I'll show you. So this is a number zero from Foxy Fix. So it's really tiny. It's like the size of a credit card, maybe. The inserts, maybe a little wider than a credit card, but they're really little. <laughs> it's cute. Um, they make cute address books or password logs, things like that. That's what I keep in mind. And then this is a micro happy planner. And here's another thing, like I thought that this would fit in this and it doesn't. <laughs> so that's good to know too. I think that um, you can buy covers for these, but I don't know. You might be able to make it work like if you have pockets and stuff, but I think I tried and just didn't work for me. But this one is just, they don't come in rings. It's only uh, the strings and then these are just the discs good to try things and luckily a lot of it you can resell or give to someone oops so I don't feel like it's a huge waste but it feels really good to finally find a size that really works for you and the way it has been for me is like when I have a significant change in my life like having another child or 
changing my job, that's when I either need to add a planner or change sizes. So from now on, I think I'm just gonna stick in A6 rings as long as I can, because I have great stuff for A6, and then start de-sashing all the rest. So let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, all of this should be on my uh, website with all the details that I know and then hopefully some links to places that know more than me. But I just wanted to show you from my collection what the differences were. Thanks for watching.